<gasps> oh my god. This is seriously the best day of my life. I'm standing right here inside the real Manchester United Stadium. Hmm. All by myself. But before I tell you how this amazing moment was created, watch this. VEO 3.1 now supports high quality video with audio and full scene flow. It helps creators make long cinematic videos that look completely natural for all of us. A total game changer. This update is a total banger for creators, filmmakers, and storytellers. You can now build full video sequences, keep your characters consistent, and maintain smooth transitions from one scene to the next. It's the perfect time to explore your creativity and push your ideas further than ever before. The results are stunning, and by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create something even better than what you're seeing here. So, let's begin. Head over to the Google Flow website using the link in the video description. That's where we'll start building this long AI animation together using VEO 3.1 and Google Flow. So first, we'll click Create with Flow and start a new project. Once you're inside Google Flow, you can begin in two ways. Either click on Scene Builder to start creating from there, or return to the main V3 interface and begin your project directly. When you generate a video using the regular VEO 3.1 interface, you can easily import it into the Scene Builder later to continue building your full sequence. Now, to create our animated character using VEO 3.1, paste your prompt into the text field and make sure the option is set to Text to Video since we'll be generating our first clip that way. From this first clip, we'll expand and build the rest of the scenes to form the complete video. Although you can also use frames to video, for this tutorial, we'll generate everything directly with text to video. Once text to video is selected, click Settings and confirm that your aspect ratio is set to 16 by 9. For this example, I'm using one output and the VEO 3.1 quality model. You'll notice that VEO3 is no longer available unless you're using an API, so your main options are 3.1 and VEO2. Keep it on quality for the best results, but if you want to save credits, you can switch to VEO3.1 fast. Once everything is ready, we'll move on to the next step and send in our prompt. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at what we're about to generate. I'm trying to generate a video of a young girl inside Manchester United Stadium wearing Manchester United's home jersey. In my prompt, I carefully described every detail of the scene, including the aesthetic style, lighting, color palette, camera direction, and even what should happen from second to second. I know VEO 3.1 might not perfectly follow these timing instructions, but I included them anyway to guide the visual rhythm. For this shot, I wrote what the boy should say at each moment. For the aesthetic, I set the visual style to a pixel-style 3D animation with golden hour sunlight to give it a warm cinematic glow. The color palette features bright light, natural sunlight, and great atmosphere, while the camera direction shapes how the boy interacts with his environment. Once everything is ready, I click Generate, and, just like that, the first video appears. Let's play it. Oh my god, this is seriously the best day of my life. Looks good, right? Now for the next step. Editing generated videos with AI in VEO 3.1. VEO 3.1 now allows you to edit your videos directly. I'll show you how to add a new element to your video. In this example, I'll add a football. Click on the Edit button and a new panel will appear. Draw a box where you want the object to appear. Then enter your prompt. I'll type a football on the field and hit send. Just like that, VEO 3.1 instantly adds the football exactly where I placed it. Let's play the result. Oh my god, this is seriously the best day of my life. Oh my god, this is seriously the best day of my life. It worked beautifully. You can see that VEO 3.1 has added the football exactly where I wanted it but with a little glitch. But that's normal with AI. This insert feature is incredibly useful. Let's say you generate a video and later want to include something specific within that scene. 
you can use this tool to add whatever you need, whether it's another character, an object, or any element that enhances your story. It's a very flexible and powerful feature to have. Now that we have our first video, the next step is to add it to the scene builder. Click Add to Scene, and your video will be automatically imported into Google Flow, which acts as your scene builder. Once your clip is inside Google Flow, you can begin extending it to make your full-length video. The first video serves as your base, and from there, you can continue building to make it longer and more dynamic. Now, you might be wondering, how can you create the additional clips that matched perfectly with the first one? Once you have your first video inside the timeline, you'll notice a plus icon next to it. When you click that icon, two options will appear, Extend and Jump To. The Jump To option allows you to generate a completely separate clip starting from the current frame. You simply type your text prompt, and it creates a new video that begins from that point. It's like creating a new scene that transitions directly from the selected moment without extending the original clip. The Extend option, on the other hand, continues your current clip. When you select Extend, you just describe what happens next in your prompt, and Google Flow will generate the following part of the scene, maintaining consistency with the previous one. For example, in this tutorial, I clicked Extend and entered the following prompt. Once I sent the prompt, VEO 3.1 instantly generated the next clip. Let's play it. Oh my god! This is seriously the best day of my life! I'm standing right here, inside the real Manchester United Stadium. Hmm. All by myself. And that's the result. Smooth, connected, and consistent with the previous scene. Let's generate the third video. After generating this video, I clicked on it, selected the plus icon, and then chose Extend to continue the sequence. I entered the next prompt and generated the following clip. Let's play it. Manchester United Stadium. Hmm. All by myself. But before I tell you how this amazing moment was created, watch this. Once you've made the third video, you can keep extending it to a fourth, fifth, and beyond. That's exactly what I did here. I clicked on the clip again, pressed Extend, entered a new prompt, and generated another scene. Let's take a look at that one. VEO 3.1 now supports high-quality video with audio and... Now, I'm going to extend this last clip further. I'll click the plus icon, select Extend, and paste the next prompt. In case you're wondering how I came up with these prompts, I used ChatGPT. I simply explained my idea, and it helped me craft detailed, structured prompts for each segment. Using Google Flow makes your workflow easier and faster. It's perfect for creators working on long-form videos, such as faceless channels or narrated projects. You can generate the first part, then continue building it scene by scene. The only major difference between each part might be the dialogue or narration, while your characters remain consistent throughout. In these four videos, you can see that the character hasn't changed at all. The next clip also maintains the same look, lighting, and motion style. You can see how naturally it connects to the previous scene. From here, I can trim or adjust the timing slightly so that both clips blend perfectly. Now, if you ever want to delete a clip from your sequence, simply click the icon next to the clip and remove it. Once you're done generating all your clips, the next step is to download your full sequence. Click on Download, and it will save the videos directly to your device. From there, you can take them into CapCut, Premiere Pro, or any other editing tool for the final touches. Keep in mind that while Google Flow handles the scene building and consistency, it won't perfect transitions on its own. That's where your editing software comes in. Inside your editor, you can trim each scene, adjust timing, and make sure the transitions flow smoothly. You can also enhance your video by adding sound effects, background music, and subtle visual tweaks to give it a polished cinematic vibe. I did exactly that. I downloaded my clips and edited them in CapCut, keeping it simple. And here's the final result. Oh my god! 
This is seriously the best day of my life. I'm standing right here inside the real Manchester United Stadium. Hmm, all by myself. But before I tell you how this amazing moment was created, watch this. VEO 3.1 now supports high quality video with audio and full scene flow. It helps creators make long cinematic videos that look completely natural for all of us. A total game changer. And that's how simple it is to create long, consistent AI animation videos. If you're trying this and not getting the same results, don't worry. You can use the link in the video description to join my private Telegram community. Inside, I answer questions and help members troubleshoot their issues directly. It's a great way to connect and learn together, since I can't do that here on YouTube. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, because there are so many helpful tutorials waiting for you. In fact, if you're not subscribed yet, you're definitely missing out. Hit that like button, drop a comment, and don't forget to watch the next video right after this one. I made it especially to help you take your AI creativity even further.